All right. Hello and welcome to the Digital Tourism Business Course. My name is Juho Pesonen and I'm the instructor for this uh, course. I work as the head of e-tourism research at the University of Eastern Finland Business School, uh, Center for Tourism Studies. Uh, during this uh, lecture, we will go through uh, the course contents and have a quick overview of what we will be discussing during this course. This course is structured into four different parts. First of all, you will be going through the uh, introduction section. After that, we will be looking at management and leadership in, in digital tourism, in an online tourism business. Then in the third section, we will focus on understanding the principles of online marketing in tourism. And then finally, we will be looking into sales and distribution channels in digital tourism business. These four um, topics uh, should provide you quite good cover coverage of the main topics within the e-tourism field, especially from the business perspective. This course is very much focused on understanding the modern day tourism business and how digital technologies are affecting the ways a business is conducted online. Let's take a closer look at each of these sections. First, in the introduction section, uh, we will be going through some terms. Um, digital tourism business, as well as all the digital businesses, have their own languages. They have their own abbreviations, own um, uh, terms, vocabulary that you absolutely need to understand in order to be able to conduct any kind of activities in online um, environment. So we will be looking into um, uh, various terms and, and, and vocabulary regarding digital business and digital marketing. Uh, then we also have to understand that, that even though the course name is uh, Digital Tourism Business, it's, it's not that digital is something separate from all the rest in the tourism business, but it is built within all the different functions of tourism business. You don't just develop the digital you don't just develop technology there is a wide range of fields that are connected to digital technologies and and developing these fields together with digital development is the path to success so you don't just adopt technologies you adopt them for a purpose and typically that purpose comes from understanding where the business needs to go we are also focusing a lot on, on technology and talking how important it is to be digitally capable, capable and, and have great skills in, in uh, the digital world and, and utilize the latest technology in uh, developing your business. However, one side that I found um, really important in this discussion is that if we look at too much just at the technology, um, uh, we will take the wrong direction. We have to focus on people. We have to look who are the people who adopt and use those technologies that we are discussing and for what purpose and in which ways and in which resources. Digital tourism business is a lot about people as, as well as all the, all the businesses in modern day world. Um, what do the people know? What is their skills, their capabilities, their training? All of these directly influence how successful companies are in adopting and using various technologies. So it's not just about technology. It's, it's most of all, first of all, about the people. What all these technologies have done and, and are doing is that we are able to deliver value uh, more and more efficiently. One person... Um, can be much more productive because of all the developments that are happening in the technological and in the digital field. Uh, digital technologies enable companies to come up with completely new business models. They allow companies to deliver value for customers and they also allow 
companies to do that more and more efficiently. Um, so so um, understanding the customer point of view in, in digital tourism business is always important. That is where most of the competitive advantage comes from, that we are able to deliver something uh, that the customers need. We are able to solve their problems. But, but it's not just that technology enables us to co-create customer value uh, in, in completely new uh, range and scale, but also we can do it much more efficiently. All of these programs and, and applications, platforms, help us to, for example, automate finances, automate emailing, automate marketing, and, 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 and so on. So we can do much more um, with much less resources. And, and the big concept, the, the term that we are used using to describe this phenomenon that is happening uh, are digitalization and digital transformation. So companies have to be able to adapt to changes that are happening in the marketplace. And typically one of the causes of these changes are the development of digital technologies. And this is called digital transformation, how we can um, reposition and change and manage the business in a way that it is able to utilize the latest technologies and 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 find out innovations and and gain competitive advantage through these um, factors and what is also remarkable about digital technologies is that it's not just um, learning something once if we look at any kind of, of marketing and business aspects of, of digital technologies, the only constant thing is change, as they say. Uh, we, we have to constantly keep updating our information, our knowledge, and how that happens is through learning. And that is great that, that you are here in this course and watching these videos, reading these materials, um, because it's all about learning. All the platforms, if we think of Google marketing, Facebook marketing, uh, email marketing, analytics, whatever, they all keep changing all the time. But nonetheless, there are some principles that hold true even though different platforms and, and the practical ways of doing marketing change. And, and in this course, we will be focusing on, on those things that are constant, no matter how the platforms or how the uh, actual uh, marketing uh, programs and services work. And, and that's where we're going to focus. We're going to focus on, on things that, that are constant, even though technology develops. But nonetheless, this development requires all of us to keep learning and, and especially be enthusiastic about learning new stuff. And these are the topics that we will be covering in the introduction section of this course. After we've learned this, after we've, we've got accustomed to the digital side of, of tourism business, we will be looking at management and leadership in online tourism. As I said already before, it's the people who adopt and use technologies and make decisions. So um, the things that affect how people behave and act uh, in, in businesses are typically defined by management and leadership. And that is why the, the digital transformation and use of technologies always starts from management and leadership in the business. Um, if we want to be really good at technologies, at adopting new platforms, adopting new ways and, 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 and building new business models, we have to be really good with people. We have to be people oriented. We have to understand why they are so important and we have to change the management system and, and the leadership styles to enable people to succeed in this ever uh, more and more digital environment. And, and very much so that, that the management of business, how business is managed and even how business is owned defines the success of, of how great and how good the business is 
in adopting technologies and, and using these digital technologies. And everything starts from the strategy and purpose of the business. We all can be online, we all can do fantastic things with technologies, but without clear understanding uh, of why we are doing what we are doing, um, it is just a collection of random actions. A company, a business, an organization needs to have goals. And, and these goals then define what kind of technologies we should be adopting and for what purpose. Everything should be goal driven. And this is because technology is a tool. So as, as far as I, I can tell, um, we can use different technologies. We can use different e-commerce platforms. We can use different social media platforms. We can use different um, uh, uh, marketing platforms. But for what purpose? We have to understand what are the goals of business. And when we know the goals we can use, and, and when we understand the capabilities and possibilities of technology, we are able to utilize it for us to reach those goals. So technology is a tool, not an end goal. We don't just have to adopt technologies because we have to adopt technologies. There has to be other purpose. The, the technology helps us in, 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 in uh, creating success for the organization. And that is why we, we start by looking at management and leadership in, in digital tourism field. Because this, this is the starting point of it all. This is where competitive advantage comes from. We have um, planned and, and defined and uh, uh, examined our business well enough to understand what we can do with technology. After that, we can start doing, for example, online marketing in tourism. Marketing is important because every business needs customers. And, and the idea why we are talking so much about online marketing, digital marketing, is that marketing is, is best done in places where it reaches people, where it can make an impression. And most of us nowadays are spending most of our free time online in various uh, digital channels. And that is why marketing is... Uh, always trying to find the places and the channels where people spend their time because that's where we can we can uh, make an effect uh, shortly put the goal of marketing is to create and develop customer relationships and um, this defines everything we do regarding marketing we we can utilize marketing for uh, finding new customers, starting up new customer relationships. But we can also use marketing also in online channels to develop customer relationships. It's not that we should be focusing on, on um, just one-time purchase, even though that is in, in, in the tourism field quite important because there's many tourists who, who don't tend to come back that often. But nonetheless, it should be a starting point for a customer relationship whenever someone makes their first purchase. As I already said, marketing should be present wherever the customers are. And that is why the strategic side comes into play when we are defining the strategy of the business in, in managing and leadership of, of the business. We are also defining who are our customers. And when we do that, it automatically tells us also, where should we be present? What is the media consumption habit of, of our target customers? If we, don't, if we haven't defined our customers, how do we know where we have to be? And, and marketing is also um, an overarching uh, field in, in business. So it's not just about making advertisements. Marketing is also about uh, collecting information about markets, collecting information how business, uh, what business is doing is, is um, 
affecting those markets? What are people saying, doing research, testing out new products, new service development, uh, guiding principles in, in also in, in management of the business? So marketing should be incorporated to every function in the business. It's not just about making advertisements. And what is... Um, particularly interesting in the tourism field is the concepts of destination marketing and marketing a business. So typically a business that is well located can get good customers and that is also the case in, in tourism. But the location is dependent on the destination where the business is located. So if a business, a tourism business is located in a destination that is attractive, that has a great brand, that um gets a lot of tourists coming in then the possibilities of doing great business in a destination like that are of course much better it's very rare that a business a tourism business is so um attractive that it is alone enough to attract people especially far from far away markets so typically it's the destination that attracts the customers and then businesses that cater to the needs of those customers who come to the destination. However, by specialization and, and focus, it's also possible to build this kind of uh, tourism businesses that are attractive by themselves uh, so that people want to visit that um, tourism business even from, from far away. And that is one of the... Um, main goals of why we are doing marketing and in tourism field we uh, most of the businesses are working both in business to business markets as well as business to consumer markets and these are completely different in this course uh, most of the focus is paid to business to consumer markets so how do we attract individual travelers individual tourists but that is not to say that group uh, groups are not important. Many businesses operate uh, through travel agencies and, and, and tour operators that bring a lot of customers for these businesses. And that is perfectly valid uh, solution into, into doing tourism business. And, uh, and that is also a market where um, great online presence helps a lot. But especially in business to consumer markets, the effects of digitalization and online marketing and tourism are great. But it is not enough if a company is really good in, in online marketing and, and, and developing their online presence. Because you also have to be um, also have to have sales and distribution channels in place. So if a customer gets interested in what you're offering, but is not able to buy what you have to sell, uh, it's not good business. So you will be losing a lot of effectiveness of your marketing. And that is something we want to avoid. What digital technologies have done in, in tourism is that they enable completely new kinds of sales and distribution channels that keep developing all the time. We have uh, new platforms, new systems, new online travel agencies uh, uh, coming into the markets that enable us to pinpoint our customers and, and uh, provide them uh, efficient access to our products. But it always requires an investment for a tourism business to be capable of, of selling their services online. Uh, one of the critical things that we will be looking at will be trust and con convenience as drivers of sales. So everything we do regarding marketing is, is mostly about building trust, really. And and the things that we are doing with e-commerce is about building convenience so that it is as simple and easy uh, as possible for people to buy your products and services. Um, and, and we also have to remember that the first sale is the starting point for customer relationships. So after that, we have to build and develop that relationship. And for that purpose, digital technologies offer a lot of options, for example, with customer relationship management software. 
So that covers the four main topics that we will be looking at um, during this course. Hopefully you will enjoy um, the course a lot and good luck for your future efforts.